Welcome back to the lab. Today, we are doing one of the most widely used lab techniques, Western blot. For those of you curious about Southern or Northern blots, we have those too. Western blots are specific for proteins, while Southern blots are for DNA and Northern blots are for RNA samples. Today, we're talking about protein. When we study something as small as an organelle inside a cell, we can't just poke it and watch what happens. We are not only looking at our specific organelle, but also the systems it interacts with. One way for scientists to prove that they have affected a specific system in a predictable way is to show that they have made an expected change to a well-established adjacent pathway. This process often involves showing that protein B was affected when the scientist manipulated system A. Western blot allows us to quantify or count a specific protein in a sample. In this video, our samples have already been prepared for this process by following a specific preparation protocol. I am boiling the samples to denature them or help them unfold from their normal structure. Then the samples are loaded into gel. Samples run down through the gel using gravity and an electrical current to help separate proteins into different sizes. Gel is like a sponge. It has many small holes. Larger proteins get stuck closer to the top, trying to weave their way through the small holes, while smaller proteins have an easier time navigating the holes and make it closer to the bottom. The first thing we do when we load a gel is actually load a ladder, or a standard that's made of proteins we know the weight of, so that when our samples are compared to the ladder, we can tell the weight of our sample protein compared to that standard. Once our proteins have run through the gel, we have to transfer them onto a membrane or blot. What we do here is called a wet transfer, but there are also semi-dry transfers as well. So in part one, we've done a procedure called SDS PAGE. This is used to resolve proteins based on their weight by adding a negative charge around the denatured protein so that it can be pulled through the gel using that positive electrode. Then we have transferred those resolved proteins onto a membrane so that it can be stained to look for protein or probed using antibodies, which you will see in future parts. So thanks for watching and don't forget to follow so you can see how this western blot ends up.